Hi there! In my previous video, I showed you how to connect Yeelite to SmartThings so you can use Yeelites from your SmartThings application. In this video, we will show how to use Xiaomi ecosystem devices with SmartThings. First of all, you have to install SmartThings from Google Play. I suppose you already have it. And the second thing that you will need from GitHub is Me Connector. All the links will be in the description below the video. So, let's see what we need. First thing, of course, you need a SmartThings account. Then you will need a local server. It can be uh, uh, any uh, Linux server, but uh, it is probably best to use Raspberry Pi. You, of course, need Xiaomi Gateway to access your sensors and stuff. So uh, uh, first, let's uh, 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 set up a local area network communication protocol in Mi Home app. There are instructions for this uh, on the Mi Connector page, and uh, you just need to go into Mi Home app and uh, tick this one box. So after you've done that, uh, your gateway will be able to communicate. And you need to install Mi Connection API server on your Raspberry Pi. First, install the Docker. And if you, if these instructions doesn't work uh, because they didn't work for me, you can just Google how to install Docker on Raspberry Pi and use the first link and install it. The next thing that you will need is a database. You need to install a MySQL database. Also, if this doesn't work for you as it didn't work for me, you just Google how to install MySQL on Raspberry Pi and uh, type in uh, installation uh, instructions. Then we need to configure your Mi connector. After you install all of these things, you will uh, need to open it on uh, the web page of your IP address. So you will see here it's on port 30,000 slash settings. So uh, open it in your browser and go to settings and again settings and here you need to enter your URL and port. Next thing is that you need to install, install device handlers. That is done in uh, SmartThings IDE on Samsung uh, page. So uh, you can find the link below in the description, of course, for this. So you go to SmartThings and click on uh, My Device Handlers. Then you, of course, need to add a new device handler. Now, this has to be done for every single device that you have. So, for instance, if you have a temperature sensor, you need to do it for temperature sensor and then for uh, air purifier and then for cube and other stuff. So, you just go to from code and from the GitHub. You go in Device Types folder and select the device that you want to install. We will use it on uh, Air Purifier. So just open this and uh, select all the text there is and copy it into your clipboard. And then you have to paste it onto the Samsung IDE uh, and uh, click Create. After you click Create, there is a button Publish and uh, you go publish for me and you will see it in your device handlers. So now the, uh, there is a handler to handle that device. And as I said, you need to do this for each and every device that want you to use. Now, next thing we, we will do is install Smart, Smart App. This is also something uh, similar to what we've already done. So just go to My Smart Apps on Samsung IDE page, New Smart App, and copy this file, Mi Connector Groovy. You can see the folder and paste it. And then you will see the Edit button here. And uh, you need to enable OAuth. Just turn it on and click on Update. Okay, this part is done. So now return to your Mi Connector address from your browser, go Settings, 
And these are the things that, are, that bothered me the most. I just couldn't find this URL and app ID. But in the end, I found it uh, in uh, SmartThings app. It's pretty easy. I'll show you how to do it. Just uh, click on Add, Smart App. And now you will see me connector there. So here you need to fill your IP address, local IP address and uh, global IP address. You can find it from your browser and click on external button and you will see this text. And in this text, you can see the URL ID and access token and just copy it onto SmartThings settings. And that's about it. Hold on. We're close to getting it done. Okay. So if we go back to Me Connector now, you will see a list of devices and you need to add each device by clicking the button and clicking the register button below and each device will be added. So after you do that for all devices, it should look something like this. You will see all your devices that are connected through Xiaomi Mi Home and through your uh, gateway in Smart Things. So if you have any problems, just uh, read the instructions on uh, Mi Connector page. They're pretty fine. The only problems I had were uh, actually installing Docker and installing MySQL, but you can just Google that and install it separately. So that's about it. If you like uh, my videos, please subscribe and uh, see you next time. Thanks for watching.